The 1400 run mark is passed at Derby as the batsmen dominate again on day four. Day three at Derby brought another stack of runs as the home side made significant inroads on Leicestershire's total of 619. Barring something remarkable on the final day, we were heading for a draw. After three days dominated by the bat, the Leicestershire bowlers hit back on the fourth morning. With no addition to the overnight score, Clint Mackay had Hemmings caught behind by Hill for 19. And then in the next over, Chappelle removed Palladino in the same manner for a duck, and Derbyshire's first innings was over. They'd added precisely one run to finish on 533 all out, thanks to those three big scores. Chappelle with four wickets and Mackay with three for 78, the pick of the bowlers. Leicestershire's first innings lead, 86 runs. An advantage they looked to extend quickly when they began their second knock. Dearden and Horton played their shots right from the outset and survived a few anxious moments as they posted a 97-run unbroken partnership, the visitors 183 ahead at lunch. Dearden soon reached his 50 in the afternoon session and Horton wasn't far behind. But he didn't linger much longer. Taylor's good spell rewarded when he had him caught behind for 56. Finally a breakthrough for Derbyshire at 125 for one. With quick runs required to put Derbyshire under any kind of pressure, Dearden moved through the gears, but that was eventually his downfall. Another big hit off Mendes was caught at long on by Godelman. After his very big hundred in the first innings, Mark Cosgrove was in the mood for more, but this time the skipper perished early. He was caught at long on once again by Godelman for 15, Mendes' second victim. Ned Eckersley hit his first ball for six, and he and Ackerman saw Leicestershire through to tee at 209 for three, a lead of 295 runs. Now it was a question of how long they'd play on in the evening session before calling a halt. Leicester declared soon after the break at 217 for three, with Ackerman not out on 38. Derbyshire's second innings was mere batting practice. Ben Slater enjoyed himself with a few boundaries before the inevitable draw was agreed with Derbyshire 42 without loss from 10 overs, Slater 28 not out. A match dominated by the batsmen with two very, very big first innings totals and five centuries in all. 11 points apiece for the two sides, which left Derbyshire second from bottom of Division 2 on 24 points and Leicestershire four points better off in seventh. Derbyshire have a tough trip to Nottingham starting next Friday, while Leicestershire hosts Sussex a week later. <laughs>